Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. This is Jim. We are back here again today. We are in the Room of uh, Requirements. And as you can see, I got uh, a bunch of different tables here. Pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at some quests today. At the last, at the end of the last episode, I did. Um, you would have seen this one here. Oh yes, Beast class. It popped right up there. Need to attend Beast class taught by Professor Howitt. Go to Beast class. Then we get some other uh, main quests here we can do. We get some other assignments and a couple, a couple side quests here. Um, I'm really interested in this one, Beast class. So let's uh, check that out. All right. Oh, yes. God, <laughs> the maze. <laughs> Another thing that uh, I really like about this game is uh, when you go through doors, you know, you don't go to a screen. You just open the door, you just keep going, it just goes forever. You know, a lot of other games you play, you just, every time you go through a door, it's like, black screen another door black screen you just this one here you just keep going man love it where in the world am i going <laughs> oh you're okay, getting close now jeez I can't fly here, perfect. Beast classroom. Yeah, I don't think I've uh, officially been up here yet. Rebellion. Couple chests in there, that's cool. Of course, it's locked. You watched the last episode, uh, Professor Fig had used uh, an unlocking charm, and uh, he said at some point that he was going to show me. Can't wait for that to happen. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, start this off here. Here we go. In the quest, sure. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many huh. of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Ah, oh, Poppy. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly <laughs> <safe>. <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention. 
Attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. <laughs> Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Jode. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Beast petting brush. 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 <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's really early in the morning where I'm at. <laughs> the beast petting brush is used to nurture magical beasts. Tap the side button. Then assign the beast petting brush to your spell set. Wow. All right. Brush right to his face. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? <laughs> beast feed is used to feed and nurture magical beasts. Tap the side with the design of beast feed to your spell set. Roger that. suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Sawdust. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. <laughs> Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. You don't say. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. <laughs> oh, a couple of measles <laughs> whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Uh, what in Merlin's name uh, are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Okay. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Can I go inside the pen? <laughs> Let's go over here. Hey. Where are you going? Come to an end. What? Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Sure. Hello, Professor. 
You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I enjoyed it. Beasts make me nervous. No, I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Awesome. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Sounds good. Hey, over here. Come on. Talk to Poppy. Why not? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. <laughs> It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Oh yeah? Sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, I think. <laughs> As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show uh, you. Ah, just one sec, Poppy. I need to get this moonstone here. <laughs> Worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Okay. Stand back. Are you joking me? Yes, she is. Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. How do I do that? Put your hand out, listen if your hand there. if you'd like sure and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody huh brush high wing feed high wing all right
amazing. So, what did you think of High Wing? Awesome. She was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Huh. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Would be good to investigate. I wouldn't poach are dangerous. Well, we can investigate. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. For sure. Complete Beast class. Awesome. Level 19, baby. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, let's change out uh, that stuff there. Um, I'll have to get another reel. So we can just kind of put that stuff on that uh, reel. And there we go. It's pretty cool. Let's check out the quest log here. That there is complete. All right. I think um, if memory serves me correctly, near the beginning of when we started um, playing, we traveled from Hogwarts Castle to Hogsmeade quite a while ago um, there was like a uh, a beast area <clears throat> that was north of uh, Hogwarts Castle small bandit camp Maryland trial Puffskin den that's it there all right. Let's um, walk back up here and uh, see if any other quest pops up. Sometimes they do that. Like some of that stuff first. Oh, we can't fly here. There's Poppy. See you later, Poppy. Have a good one. I'll get some more blue. Moonstone here. I was going to call it Bluestone there for a second. <laughs> nope, not the right stuff, man. Alright. What I would like to do is uh, check out that broom enhancement that we can get now. Huh. I think there's Poppy down there. What a beautiful spot. Quest. Right down here. Um sweeping the competition. Look into a, a new broom enhancement with Albie Weeks 
and sprint witch's sporting needs. Purchase room enhancement from Albie Weeks. So Albie Weeks is in Hogsmeade. Let's uh, we can fly there, or we can uh, fast travel. Let's just fast travel. All right here. Let's do it. Kind of interested to see uh, how much this broom enhancement is going to cost. I have just a little over 4,000 gold coin on me. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Oh, I yeah. truly appreciate all of your help. All right. What are we looking for today? A broom enhancement that you said you're going to give me for cheap. A thousand! What? An enhancement that increases your broom's acceleration and speed. One thousand gold coin. This is a... This is a rip-off, buds. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, I almost feel that... You have to... The game almost makes you buy it. Because if it doesn't, if you don't, then it just kind of stays stagnant. So let's buy it. I really don't want to, but you'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Right on. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? I'll try to help, Mr. Weeks. Yeah, I see. as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Okay. Walk back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Right on. Yeah, so you, the game pretty much uh, forces you to buy the upgrade, but, um, you know, if you don't have the, the gold coin, then you can always, uh, you know, you don't have to buy it right away. You can always come back to it. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Back to quests. Professor Onai's assignment. Keeping the competition. I'll be mentioned that Elder can be found south of Hogwarts. Get the data he wants. I must participate in our broom trial. Well, we won't do that one just right now. Um, I believe when I open up the map here. It was, uh, looks like there's a couple side quests around town here. Just one here. Ghosts of our love. I know it's a small map sitting on a gravestone. Hogsmeade Graveyard. While well, it belong to someone, it may not hurt to take a peek at it in case it holds valuable information. Well, that's an episode on its own because it's a treasure map. And uh, there's one right behind the main quest here. All the butterflies. I overheard Clementine. Worsley, talking to herself in the three broomsticks, she mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. So let's uh, check that out. While we're here, get some time. Off to the races then. Let's give her a quick save here first. All right. And this one here will do. All right. Hello there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. 
Right on. You certainly made an impression. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. There's Clementine. Hmm. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Will let's see. Oh. Charmed. Clementine. I on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. Yeah. <gasps> if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I'll think about it. What did you hear about the forest first off? What were the horrible <laughs> stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll think about it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Sounds good. All right. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. The fringes, eh? All right, let's check this out here. For Clementine, not Clementine. Looks like there was a uh, page there. Yeah, that's all. Kirtwins, precarious cauldrons. It's a precarious stacked set of cauldrons outside Kirtwins adversaries advertises <laughs> the shop's wares. Should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Hmm. Yeah, definitely makes sense. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's hit the Rin Forest here. Hopefully, I'm not going to regret it. We're doing okay though. Who lived here, I wonder? Go. Huh. Alright, let's check this out. Revelio. I also pick these up while we're here. Making it up. All right, there. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. There they go. Where are they going? Moonstone. Hey, 
hair. Well, well. Not Collection updated. Telescope. Huh. Follow the butterflies. Achievement. Nice. Interesting. Bunch of spiders in there. Overwhelming sensation to uh, <laughs> do something here. Huh? What did that to me? That uh, no beast there couldn't see me to save its life. All right, let's uh, head back here. You notice this uh, broom going any uh, faster? Hey, wait a minute. Let's uh, let's do something here. Or if we have to put that enhancement on, oh, it already goes on. Okay. Okay. Nineteen is nimble broom, yeah. Ember dash, perfect broom for those fiery temper, that's fine. Huh. Wonder if that uh Enhancement that we just bought automatically goes on the broom. I'll have to figure that out. Alright, let's get back here. There's a puffskin den just over here. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Let's check out this uh, puffskin area while we're here, eh? Might as well. Let's, um, yeah, you know what? Let's finish this off and then we'll come back. That's what we'll do. I'll be back there, uh, little puff skin. <laughs> Can't enter while mounted. Oh, makes sense. I do. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find <laughs> them? <laughs> yes. 
and that was well rewarded. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? <laughs> Jeez. Very dramatic. <laughs> Alright. Quest complete. Follow the butterflies. Sweet. That counts as a relationship quest. That's pretty cool. Let's head back to the uh, puffskin den before we end the episode here. Ah, oh, yes. I don't know if it'll let me do anything, but um, switch some of these out here just to see. I'm just interested to kind of see what happens here. Oh, and they tamed. Oh, okay. Nope. Interesting. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> that's that. Can't do it just yet, I guess. Put it back before I forget. Right. Not yet for that, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. We get a uh, room upgrade. I don't know if it goes on automatically, but I'm going to have to figure it out. Also went to the Forbidden Forest following the butterflies. Got a nice little reward for it. And uh, we went to uh, Beast Class, which is pretty cool. So I assume at some point, very soon, we'll be able to... Uh, Tame one of those guys. Hmm. Awesome. So that's uh, that'll end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And hope you all have a nice day.